Good morning and welcome to take two of the Coventry Oracle reading for this week. And this is Jackie Smith with Coventry Creations. We had a false start here, but we're going to do this again. And what I want to talk about is love. We can all use a little more love in our lives, um, whether it's romantic love or family love or good working relationships or more compassion. And I often get questions about how do I do a love spell? And my answer is this, just bring more love into your life. The rest is going to fall into place because you can start with that self-love piece first. So I pulled some cards earlier. You might not have saw it, but I really did. And I really like what these have to say because it's surprising and I learn something every time. So I'm gonna hang on to these. And um, it's really fun to think about how to bring more love into your life from a new perspective. So let's go, let's look at this. I pulled this card for what needs to be healed this card for what needs to be cleared isn't that weird and this card for what's in your blind spot so this is fascinating for healing during meditation visualize perfect health for every part of your life here's the thing about this is that it's time to take that meditation at quiet time to open up an entire new universe of possibilities if you sit and think and let your brain unwind and meditation is not a blank mind Meditation is just basically no more input and now you're processing everything that's been in your head and you're unwinding like a top. And as you unwind, you get to the real information. So that's what it's saying. If you need more love in your life, whether it's whatever version, including inner love, sit down and meditate a little bit. Have that quiet time. Here's what needs to be cleared. Oh, I get this now. Clearing. Clear up any misunderstandings that would lead to, to any losing judgments being passed upon you. Okay, now I get this. What you're clearing is you're clearing that whole big bundle of self-judgment. I get it now. I wasn't sure at first, but we judge ourselves really harshly. We are our worst critic. And this one's saying is during your meditation, let go of those judgments, those beliefs that say, I don't deserve love in my life. We, des we all deserve love. We are all made of love. And those judgments are just that block to receiving them. And the last one is here's what's in your blind spot, heart, which I think is absolutely perfect in talking about this from the meditation to the scales of justice to heart. Because what heart is, we originally called this candle the forgiveness candle. I couldn't even sell one of them. So we changed it to heart, and it's one of our best sellers. And really what this is is when you work from your heart, you work from a place of forgiveness. And the first person, and really the only person that you need to forgive is yourself. We all make big, fat mistakes. We all judge ourselves harshly. We feel that we're not worthy of love. And if you start working from the heart, which is what this is all about, right? The heart chakra, the heart center, um, then you're gonna start doing that healing work. That's in your blind spot is, is that you have enough. The heart candle tells you in the blind spot is that there is enough love in the world. It is unending, literally unending. We are all made of this. Our universe is made of this. Love, prosperity, they're the same thing. You tap into it and just let it flow into you. And it's kind of painful at first, I'm not gonna lie. The first time I got into the flow of love, I bawled like a baby. But it's very interesting what happened is that cleared a lot of those judgments that I had of myself and helped me step into a place of self-love. And that's the biggest and best gift you can give to yourself. Because when you love yourself and you vibrate love, the people who are interested in being part of it are naturally attracted to you. And that's what I want for you. I want you to feel that amazing divine love that is surrounding you. Um, my, my wish for you is that you clear those blocks so you can feel all of that because you are a divine child. You are a divine being and you deserve all of the amazing healing love in the universe. And I'm so glad I did this reading today because I needed it. It's been kind of rough out in the world. I've been feeling a little attacked culturally and emotionally and we're all stressed and we're feeling it. And I think this is the best gift we can give all of ourselves right now. So you guys have an amazing week. Keep it magic and keep it filled with love. Jackie out.